Okay guys, while I'm working on removing the turbocharger out of the car, I'll be, you know, working on my transmission. Uh, I'll be doing transmission service, gasket filter, a new fluid. Um, and I'll show you in the process how you can do that. Uh, it's pretty easy. Okay, let's get started. I also recommend for you to uh, find some magnets. So once you remove the oil pan from the uh, transmission, you can actually install some magnets inside of there uh, that way they collect uh, you know some shavings from the clutches and all that stuff so yeah i recommend doing that and then obviously you know new crush uh, washers and stuff like that this kit comes with that so yeah. all right guys so here's our trans there's a drain plug five millimeter allen and i've got the pan ready so i'll be draining this fluid out it's so nice how these old school benzes have drain plugs can't find this on new cars. And the fluid is actually pretty clean on it. So, but I'll be still uh, removing this, cleaning it, because the, the gasket is actually leaking on it. So I want to replace the gasket and the filter at the same time and add some uh, magnets and you know by doing this I will know that you know I did the fluid change and all that stuff so yeah that's awesome so after I finish draining just uh, install the drain plug back because you'll be removing this pan anyways so just install the drain plug and then we're gonna remove this pan Okay, so now we'll be dropping this oil pan. It's uh, six 13 millimeter bolts. They already loosened up. So I'm gonna drop this pan. We're gonna clean the pan and everything, inspect all this stuff. The fluid that came out of it was actually very clean. So that's great. And yeah, I'm gonna do that and let's keep on going. So like I said guys, six uh, bolts holding everything in. All right, I'm about to um, remove this guy. I'm gonna take care of it. There are just a couple of zip ties holding the speed cable to the pan take those off All right, so now I'm removing three Phillips bolts that are holding this filter in place. And that's it, the filter is gonna come out and then uh, we will replace this filter with a brand new one. And I also cleaned up the gasket mating surface right there already. Um, yeah. She's getting there. And then later on I'll have to uh, yeah, do something with this uh, kick down switch right there because uh, 
kick down the actuator because uh, it's leaking, seeping some oil. So I want to fix that as well. After you remove those three screws, filter simply comes out. You know, it's possible that they changed this oil and filter maybe not too long ago. But I wasn't too sure, so we're changing it today and we're gonna know that we have fresh fluid, filter, gasket and everything on here. Okay. Very nice. New versus old. Making sure these two seals are there. And they are. Alright, let's install this baby. All right, before installing the filter, lubricate these with ATF, and these seals, and then you're good to go. You can install the filter. Make sure you're being very clean when you're working with this. Don't introduce any contamination or dirt. Uh, okay, make sure if you're going to use uh, like paper towels or something make sure there's no lint in them there make sure they're lint free or lint free rags okay so yeah and then tighten this filter snug don't go too crazy don't strip anything and then that's it we can move on to the uh, oil pan and clean up and then, yeah, like I said, just snug, okay? All right, guys, this is a cleaned up pan from the inside and the outside. Right there is where I put my magnet, okay? So if you want, you can put a bigger magnet, it doesn't really matter, but as long as there's something in there, this is where I actually put it, uh, in this corner, okay? And uh, this is how this side looks. I repainted this side, it looks really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this baby. And uh, I got this new gasket for it as well. It just slides on and we're good to go. Okay guys, so the pan is partially installed. It looks really good. Uh, I didn't tighten all the bolts all the way because as of right now, I want to make sure that this seal is sitting properly without any problems, okay? It's not pinched, so you have to check that all the way around, okay? Before you tighten these six bolts. Also, one thing to note is don't over tighten these bolts, okay? Because you're gonna bend these ears and then we'll have a problem, it will be leaking, okay? So just go snug, okay? Go all the way around and snug up these bolts these are 13 millimeter okay you can use a quarter inch a ratchet you know so you don't over tighten them uh, this is what i use and uh yeah anyways i'm about to um uh, tighten all this thing all the way and tomorrow i'll start uh you know refilling this trans with fluid all right guys everything is back the pan is back all reinstalled, looking great. I'll give you some more shots tomorrow.